We'll start today's news off in Cape Town, South Africa, where almost 50 people celebrated plant-based living in the third annual South African Veg Pride Parade. Now, the first parade occurred in October 2010 when a group of people decided to celebrate the vegan, vegetarian way of life. Now, for those of us who aren't sure, vegetarians don't eat any animals, but some might eat dairy products or eggs. Vegans do not eat any animal products at all, and many vegans will not use products tested on animals or use animal-derived products such as leather. The Veg Pride Walk is the initiative of an organization called Beauty Without Cruelty, which fights for ethical treatment of animals, especially in the beauty and entertainment industries. Over the last three years, the walk has gained popularity, and a good crowd participated in the event on Sunday, the 3rd of November 2013. It was a beautiful day for a parade. Some people dressed up, some wore message t-shirts, and others had pickets, all promoting the idea that we can live well without harming the planet, other people, or animals. Accompanied by well-known Cape Town buskers who sang and danced, the group walked along the promenade handing out flyers on vegan living and recipes for vegan food. A fun-filled happy event ended with vegan sausage rolls for everyone, supplied by Fry's, a well-established and internationally known South African brand of vegan foods. Africa has a new billionaire, guys, and he's none other than Abdul Samad Rabiu, the chairman of Boa Group, a conglomerate with interest in sugar, pasta, rice, cement, and steel, among others. The Boa Group also owns a ship called Boa Cement One, built for carrying heavy loads and Nigeria's first floating terminal. Forbes Africa reports that this very private and highly astute businessman will be joining the rankings of Africa's billionaires, which will be out in the December-January edition of Forbes Africa magazine. Mr. Rabiu will be joining this list after a jump in his net worth from $670 million last year to $1.2 billion this year. Abdul Samad Rabiu started Boa Group in 1988 when he was about 28 years old. His company imported sugar, rice, and edible oils. However, his big break came when he got the opportunity to be part of a government project. He was able to parlay this opportunity successfully, investing and reinvesting in varied sectors and establishing a formidable list of holdings, including a housing project of 200 homes in Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital territory, due to be completed by next year. One of the Boa Group's biggest projects is the Boa Mixed Development, which includes a sugar refinery with a production capacity of 2,000 tons per day and 65,000 metric tons storage. The Mixed Development also has a flour mill and a pasta, semolina and rice mill. Mr. Rabiu's philosophy is simple. He believes strongly that cutting prices will increase demand and increase profits. All we can say is, it's obvious his strategy works. Our hearty congratulations to Mr. Abdul Samad Rabiu. We wish him many, many more years of success. And over to Cameroon with this story from Development Diaries, informing us about that country's continuing efforts to boost girl-child education and general primary school enrollment in the country. According to the publication, over the last decade, Cameroon has made significant steps in making education more accessible to its children and in driving up its school enrollment rates. According to figures from UNICEF, the country's net primary school enrollment rate is now at around 84%, making it one of the highest ranking nations in West and Central Africa where primary school enrollment is concerned. Development Diaries goes on to tell us that the government has worked with several NGOs to increase girl-child enrollment in school. Some actions taken include sensitization campaigns targeting parents and communities, making some schools more girl-friendly, and creating programs to help provide books and scholarships to girls. Now, one of the things the government is focusing on is encouraging an attitude of community responsibility by encouraging people to realize the benefits of sending their sisters, daughters, nieces, etc. to school. 